So one of the biggest forecast challenges in western Michigan is how the lake is going to influence thunderstorms on a given day. We've seen you know, models that we've been using for guidance while we've been out here that have struggled. And so the data that we're getting will hopefully help us learn a bit more about the processes that lead to getting storms near the lake. And we're looking at the influence of Lake Michigan on environments that could or could not be favorable for thunderstorms to develop inland of Lake Michigan. And so what we're studying is the difference between uh, what we're calling a classic lake breeze and a non-classic lake breeze. For the weather balloons, we launch a radio sound which is connected to that weather balloon and that gets the vertical profile of these uh, variables like temperature and humidity and wind direction. After that, we're driving the mobile mesonet across there to see the differences in between the temperature and humidity and wind direction and wind speed from the coastline here at Lake Michigan and then further inland. When I came to the program at CMU, I knew like I would have to say like the lecture and stuff, but actually like getting out in the field, it is very nice to be out here and actually like see the results of what we're looking at in real time by looking at the clouds that come by, looking at some of the storms that develop. So being out here in this experience has definitely been a very positive one.